Hello, Torres the Warrior here, and this video is going to be about add-ons, and specifically my add-ons and how I like to set them up. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what add-ons I have and stuff, so here it is. First off, I'm going to talk about how you get add-ons. As how you get add-ons is, uh, is how I get my add-ons is I go to curse.com and they have a thing you can download called the Curse Client, and you can just kind of search through add-ons and then click one and then like read the description of what it does and then just download it and it's all ready to go as soon as you do that and on your character login screen here it'll have this little add-ons thing down here in the corner and you can just kind of pick and choose which ones you want to have so you can you can have different ones set for different characters too so I can have you know say it's only good for my bank alt like auctioneer I only have auctioneer on my bank alt turned off for all my other characters because it takes up too much space if I have it on everyone. So going down the list of add-ons here, the most noticeable one would be Bartender and that is the add-on that allows me to move my bars and customize them around and stuff like that. And when you have an add-on it'll just show it here around the mini-map or unless you have a mini-map add-on or an add-on add-on which exists, I had one, I don't have it anymore. You can just click this and it'll highlight green and you can move their bars around and place them wherever you want and you notice I have mine are it's just one bar but it's two rows stacked on top of each other so is what you can do is you can also right click on it and you can go like to bar one here and I have it set to two rows so if I can switch it to one row here and it's also hidden but I can make it you know m as many rows as I want I can have it all the way vertical or the way I like it which is like that uh, and you have you know ten different bars to choose from your bag bar m micro menu, pet bar, stance bar, vehicle bar, everything pretty much. Uh, you can move anything around. And there's just tons and tons and tons of options. I have, you know, bars set to fade out until I scroll over them so they're not like in my way. You know, I have this one over here, it's all my F keys and just, you know, my number keys and then uh, but mouse buttons. And you can, you know, do precise pre uh, precise positioning and all kinds of cool stuff for that. So just tons and tons of options. Uh, presets and also profiles so you can log on a new character and you can just go oh, click the profile of your main and it'll automatically set it up the way you want it. Also with Bartender it's really easy to keybind things. You just uh, click the key binding thing. To bind a key you just scroll over it and press what you want it to be. So here we can and you can clear it by scrolling over and pressing escape so no current bindings and then pressing what you want it to be and you're done that's all you gotta do you don't have to sort through it and try and get it on the right um, action bar you just scroll over press what you want to bind it to uh, the next most noticeable one here is probably x pearl i use x pearl classic now x pearl yeah pearl cla no pearl classic unit frames i used to use x pearl i preferred x pearl but x pearl kind of broke with the patch so i've been using pearl classic unit frames i'm not sure if they fixed it yet so i haven't really tried and basically this does a lot of stuff and mostly it's stuff that i just turn off cuz i just like having my portrait move and i like having uh, my target down here where it's next to my my abilities and stuff so I can I can kind of sort of centered there on my character so I don't have to look way up here in order to see you know what my targets health is at the next add-on is MSBT or mix scrolling battle text and that's the one that does the fancy scrolling battle text here uh, I like it a lot just because it has a lot of customization options and you can have it do this which is you see it puts the icons of the attacks next to it. And that's for incoming and outgoing. So if I was to get hit by a chaos bolt, like, oh man, I just got hit for 10,000, what hit me for 10,000? Well, it'll show the chaos bolt symbol uh, right there. So I would know, ex I can know, you know, exactly what, what hit me, which can be really useful in lots of situations, like, say, you get hit with uh, an immolate, and it's like, hmm, I just got hit with immolate, I should spell reflect because he's going to conflag really, really soon. So just, you know, things like that that it's really useful for as well as when people are you know watching your videos uh, they can see exactly what is hitting for how much um, it also combines things like you notice here it'll combine see it two hits two crits it'll you know combine the damage from the main hand and off hand since they're simultaneous uh, you can also throttle that by going slash msbt uh, you can throttle that 
by scroll areas, configure scroll areas, you can move things around. Uh, so I can change all the scroll areas I want, add new scroll areas with all kinds of specific things. Um, I can change you know all these th the animation style, the direction, behavior, and uh, the uh, alignment of the text left or right are centered. You can also there's also events, so you can things like when you have say a skill miss, uh, you can you can have it you know make a sound so you know that that skill missed. You don't have to see oh it missed. Um, or you know, no, notice that the debuff isn't there. It'll like make a noise if it doesn't go off, so you can trigger things like that. Also, with like triggers, like with blood surge, I can go in here and I can set it. You know, click the tools and I can you know say I have it shing is what it does. So uh, when I get a blood surge proc, it makes that extra noise. when I get a blood surge proc. There you go. So you hear the extra little ching noise in there? That's um, that's the add-on doing that. The next thing here is Rage Bar. That's real simple. That's just this thing here. You can customize, move, and reshape this uh, little Rage Bar down here. It's just, you know, for easier management, you can see it right down here instead of having to look way up here. Again, just more centered. Omen. Probably familiar with Omen. It's just it's a uh, uh, good representation of it's 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 for it's for threat. It shows your threat. It's a threat meter, so very useful, especially if you do a lot of damage like me. I spend most of the fight just watching Omen, trying not to pass the tank, then passing the tank anyway. Another story. The last one you've seen in all my other videos is recount, and recount is just this little thing here that keeps track of you know all my damage. So, if I go up here, it tells me my current DPS. You can also have it tell you your damage done total, healing per second. Uh, there's an overall data, current fight. Let's see here. There's, there is. Yeah, you can click on people and see exactly what their damage breakdown is. My, I'm wearing PvP here, so I'm not doing anywhere near much damage at all. You can also report things to, like, you know, different chat channels. So if I was to say say here, I can go report and it'll tell, you know, just say recount damage done overall data and it'll tell you, like, how much damage you did in DPS. And also, you know, it shows people in a list. You can also have it sort by a, a bunch of different things. So damage done, DPS, friendly fire, damage taken. You can also look at, like, interrupts into spells, uh, CC breaks, mana gained, and just tons and tons of things you can you can sort on, the, on recount. It keeps track of absolutely everything in the combat log. And is really useful for uh, sort of data analysis and testing uh, when you're trying to figure out what is better. You can really see, you know, the average and things like that. Oh, this isn't, you know, doing so well because it's only ticking for an average of this much, even though it crits really hard, or just stuff like that. And that is all of my add-ons uh, that are significant. Uh, I've got a few other smaller ones, but those are those are the main ones right there. Um, yeah, subscribe.